the flavor wave. I'm Private Chef Don Gleese on the wave today. Chicken tunis with a tomato ginger salsa. Before we get started, I would like to share with you the definition of the flavor wave. Complimentary flavors splashing on the tongue, starting as a ripple, then building for 25 plus seconds into a class five wave, hitting every taste bud. The flavors build and roll into a feeling of tingly bliss, unique to the chemistry of each dish. Let's get delicious. First things first, we've got to marinate the chicken to get it on the grill. I have four boneless, skinless chicken breast. It's a really simple marinade and super healthy. One cup of non-fat plain yogurt. And the rest, uh, believe it or not, are, are all spices that are common to, to North Africa, hence the name Tunis. I coined that, of course, but it's some Moroccan flavors. You'll see as we go along. One tablespoon of ground cumin, ground coriander, one tablespoon as well. Let's get that in there, there we go. One tablespoon of paprika, again not smoked, regular paprika, no spice in this. Uh, ground ginger, one tablespoon of that as well. Gets a little clumpy in the humidity, doesn't it? There we go. And then one teaspoon of each. Garlic powder, cardamom, cardamom, um, um, it's, it's a tough one, I know. But practice, it does make perfect. Cinnamon, and then, oh, excuse me. Finally, one teaspoon of cloves. So easy this is. Close up your bag. And this is when, the, when sloshing is a good thing. Just go ahead, slosh everything around in there. So it all gets incorporated. You can take a little more time than I will because through the magic of television, guess what? The chef has one ready to grill. Let's get grilling. Chicken's on the grill. Let's make a salsa. The salsa is super healthy and very fresh. Uh, the first ingredient is tomato, seeded. Uh, I bought Hot House, but they were vine ripe. And they were medium in size. I used five for this application. You probably get about three cups of tomato. But all you really have to do, we'll, we'll use a skin, no problem. We have to seed it. Look at how easy seeding a tomato is. Watch this. Just squish your thumb in there, take it out. Pinch, pinch the seed out there, voila. No more seeds, a little bit of flesh and skin. Excuse me, let's dice this up real quick. Again, we're, we're doing, you know this because you're on the flavor wave, uh, flavors in 3D. Again, everything on this cutting board here is going into the salsa. Take a look at the layers of flavor. We have tomato, we have Three tablespoons of minced fresh ginger, mint, one quarter cup, freshly chopped. We have, eh, let's do the chives next. This is one quarter cup of chives. Of course, it's just a really, really, really fine chop here. Just like that. And yes, all those limes are going in there. Uh, it, it calls for the juice of, of three limes. Just so you know that a, a, a juicy lime will yield one tablespoon of juice. So it looks like uh, three tablespoons of lime juice will be going into this recipe. There we go. And I don't want to use all this onion. I think I'll use about a quarter cup of red onion. So let's go ahead and use about half of this half. Half of the half, hmm. I don't know how much that is, but thank God we're on television. There we go. I like to do a finer mince. Nothing like a big piece of raw onion to ruin a good day. Anybody timing that chicken? It's been, what, about four minutes? 
it'll take, I, I used six ounce breast and they were chunky. Take about six minutes a side on a medium heat. I don't know your grill, but, but mine is a little hot. So medium, medium will get you right there. I will squeeze out and work out three fresh limes. How nice is this? Gosh, so healthy, so fresh. Whoops. See this? I couldn't squeeze it. It's too big, too chunky. Cut, break it down a little bit and you get the juice out of it. Look at that. Just like on TV. Can you slow motion that please for me? Thank you. Again, remember flavors in 3D. We have all the Moroccan flavors, all the spice in the chicken with the fresh healthy yogurt. Bringing into that the fresh flavors of the garden. No plaids with polka dots, nothing clashing. A 360 plate. All the flavors are CFC, complimentary flavor combination. Drum roll, please. Pinch of salt and pepper. That should complete the flavor wave. Let's give it a quick toss, incorporate all the flavors. And again, when it sits a moment, all the juice out of the tomato, or half of it will come out. It'll have a juicier consistency, more like salsa. But if you'd like to add a drizzle of olive oil, you're more than welcome to. But I just wanted it to be really fresh, really down to earth, really basic. And then it goes into our, to our serving bowl. And dinner is almost served. Let me run out and grab the chicken. I'll be right back. If the first frame was considered zero, this right here is called delicious. Chicken's off the grill, onto the serving platter. And if you'll bear with me, uh, we're going to put this on the flavor wave. If you'll excuse me. Okay, here we go. Now, if for some reason you're tasting and it doesn't meet the criteria for the flavor wave, the 25 plus seconds, what you may need to do is put that dish in your flavor's mind's eye. In other words, taste what's missing. If you can't do that, here's a hint. A quarter teaspoon of garlic powder in a savory dish to start out with will give you an added depth of flavor, a new dimension that will take you to the flavor wave. It may take another quarter teaspoon, but you don't want to taste the garlic. Okay, here we go. Uh, the anticipation is, is, is making me tingly. Try a little salsa. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you when to start your clock. Uh, no fear cheating, right? Again, they're an accompaniment here, so I'll take a taste of each on the same taste on the, on the palate together. Mmm. Wow. Start your clock. You'll love this. Just the mint with the coriander and the cinnamon, all those Moroccan spices. Mmm. I'm tasting red onion. I'm tasting lime now, tomato. Wow. Hmm. I'm sorry, but I'll be on the flavor wave probably for the next 20 minutes. So with that, we don't, we don't have enough show to watch me come down off the flavor wave, not this time. So it's your kitchen, it's your life. Ride the flavor wave, eat delicious, live splendiferous. Thank you.